Hi everyone, I'm Gretchen Heido, Professional Certified Life and Business Coach. How is everybody today? Hope you're doing great. You know, I have really been on this quest for authenticity so that I can be more present and more comfortable in my own skin. I don't know about you, but I long to be accepted exactly as I am for who I am. I long to be able to be vulnerable with the people that I love. I long to be able to be present in whatever moment that I'm in. I long to be able to be loved and accepted by the world exactly as I am. And yet, and yet it's not always so easy to be exactly who I am. We all have these different faces that we put on, these different pieces of us that we show depending on who we're with. And what about those pieces of us that are deep down? What about those pieces of us that so desperately want to be seen but are scared to do it because we just don't exactly know if we'll be accepted if we show who we are or we show our humanness? I wear a lot of faces. I'm a wife. I'm a mom, I'm a daughter, I'm a friend, I'm a coach, I'm a mentor, I'm a teacher, probably some other things too, I'm funny, you know, and here's the thing, different faces for different people, and wouldn't it be nice if we could all just always wear one face? What gets in the way of you being authentic? What gets in the way of you being loved and showing love? I know for me it's the stories that I tell about if they really knew, what would they think? Or if I say that thing and it's really the way that I feel, will they still like me? Will they hire me? What if these people really knew who I was or how I felt about X, Y, or Z? And the thing is this, what if they did? We're going to attract the people that we're supposed to attract into our lives. And the ones who don't want to come and be the bugs for our light bulbs, butterflies for our sunshine, it's okay, right? It really is okay. But it doesn't always feel that way. I have an old story about rejection and abandonment, that people aren't going to like me. They're not going to see me. They're not going to want whatever the thing it is that I have to give. And it's just not the truth. And as I have been on this journey to really be present and to really awaken and discover the woman that I am and that I'm meant to be, marvelous things have happened. You know, I have been so aware of the people that are around me. My kids have said things like, Mom, wow, you're being super outgoing because I'm pretty introverted, although you probably wouldn't know it. Um, I've made connections with people. I've reconnected to people that used to be in my life. I've let go of relationships that don't serve me. You know, and I've had to look at a lot of pain, too. What are those relationships that I've had that I thought meant something that it just doesn't mean anymore? How do we thank, um, thank the relationships that we used to have, but let them go if they don't serve us? You know, that can be hard because there's a lot of identity in the people that we hang out with, you know, and um, a lot of ways that we see ourselves based on who we're friends with or who we're in relationship with. So I'd love to hear from you. Why is it so hard to be authentic? You know, thank you, Catherine. I think being authentic as a leader is so difficult. Like if people see my flaws, they won't want to follow me. Yes, I 100% know this, and you are welcome for sharing this. Thank you for putting that in the note. I feel that way, too. If people really know who I am, they're not going to want to follow me. They're not going to want to know the thing. But what I know is that it's not true. Catherine, I know some things about you, and I totally love who you are and following you on Facebook and your posts. And so we tell ourselves this old story, right? And we get stuck in the story. The story keeps us small, and so what I'm encouraging everyone to do this week is to break out of your story. When you notice that you're not being authentic, ask yourself, what do I need in this very moment to be able to show the world the thing that I'm meant to show? What I've needed to do each morning is get up and meditate, and that has been a very hard practice to do. I'm getting up 30 minutes earlier than everyone else. And I'm actually following meditations. I'm listening to people who know more than me in this arena. It's helped me to really be able to identify my feelings and to think about things I haven't thought about and to just sit quietly. Nicola just said it's hard because we're in a PC, politically correct environment, and my intent is never to isolate. And isn't that the truth? The more connected we've become on the internet and with our phones and with Facebook, the more isolated we become as well. And the more politically correct everyone is, the more isolated we can feel on the inside. So this week, just for today, just for the next hour even, I really encourage you to take note of when do I get afraid to show who I am? 
Sometimes I get afraid to show who I am um, when I'm out there in the world, maybe when I'm at my kid's school or when I'm going to be in front of a, a classroom full of students. And you know what? It's okay. My students can handle who, who I am. The people out there in the world, they can handle who I am. I think the real question is, can I handle who I am? Can you handle who you are? And I think that the answer is probably yes, but let's lean into that. Check in with me this week. I would love it if we could all encourage one another to really stand together in being who we are and in feeling like it's okay and that we're more than enough exactly as we are. Get the support that you need. Join this group, you know, read books, listen to podcasts, do the things that feel uplifting so that you can be comfortable in your own skin. God gave you your skin, and guess what? I just got nervous since we're talking about authentic. I just got nervous because I said God, but there it is. God gave you your skin to be in, and you are right and perfect exactly as you are. And the truth is, is that um, as you move forward, just remember it might feel uncomfortable because we've been taught to unknow ourselves since the day that we were born, but today's the day to start getting back into who you are and to relearning and rediscovering you, maybe for the first time ever. I'm so excited about your journey. I'm so excited about getting to know you exactly as you are and myself. Let's hold each other accountable. Put some notes in the comments. I would love to support you, and I look forward to talking to you soon.